So here's an example showing uh, what people in retrospect look at the Vioxx uh, data and look at the number of patients that got the Vioxx and the number that had heart attacks and they showed that uh, they could have predicted it a lot earlier. You know, um, there was some work done at Kaiser Permanente in the Southern California region and they think that they discovered this uh, very much earlier than it was taken off the market and they said they stopped using Vioxx a lot earlier and saved a lot of lives in their organization. And they had access to about five million patients worth of data in their system so it's possible that they saw this. This is the idea of that post-marketing surveillance that I, I mentioned. Uh, the question is, would you know what to look for? Because in this case, we know that they had Vioxx and they were looking for heart attacks, but it could have been that they had Vioxx and they got a stroke, or they had Vioxx and they got dizzy and fell down, or they had Vioxx and they developed a rash, or they had Vioxx and they got stomach cancer. So you've got to remember there's almost an infinite number of potential adverse events associated with every medication, so you'd have to do a, a huge number of searches and a huge number of statistical test to try to find out whether something's a, an important change or just a random change. And those of you who know about statistics know when you do a lot of tests you have to have an increased uh, p-value to make sure you're not just finding uh, a spurious correlation. If you're curious you could go to spuriouscorrelations.com you can look at a site like that and see uh, just how uh, absurd these things can be.